Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be building a brick colonial home. I hope you all enjoy. Grab some popcorn and stick by. So we're starting off building the walls. So I wanted to do like a brick kind of, I don't know, classy sort of house. So I was like, let's put some molding on the bottom, maybe on the side. And then the black kind of centers it out because it's like the white, the red, the black. Like, I just like how that looks. I think, I don't know, it brings out the style of the home. And then the molding just kind of puts it all together. I would say maybe like for the roof, I could have done something differently, but I, I like how this turned out. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the way it turned out. I think it has to be one of my favorites. And then I just build around, I add the roof, the other part of the house, I make sure I put everything right. Like, I was thinking like, do I want to make it like this or should I make it like in a different way where it's more rooms, more bedrooms and stuff like that. Cause this room, this not this room, this house is pretty small. It's a one bedroom, but it's like for someone, if they want to live on their own, it, I don't know. I think it's cute for like someone who just got out of college or is in college and they want to live alone, see how that life kind of feels like. I feel like that'd be the best way to describe this house. It's not like a studio apartment. It's a full house, but it's a house just for one. If that makes any sense. Then I just do the roof on top. I like doing the roofs. I don't know why. It's just kind of satisfying sometimes. And then like when you just place it on. I don't know. Watching it back it's satisfying to me. I don't know if that's just me. Or if y'all feel it too. It's satisfying in a way. Now we go back to the front. And think about it. Like I was a little hard on myself. But it looks really cute. And then I add the picket fence. I don't know. I want to build a house that's like centered around the white picket fence feel. And I have an idea for it. And I think it's going to be cute. So stay tuned. But I really like how this like house makes itself like with everything. I don't know if that's just me. But just like look at it. Like the little path. Then we're going to have a bench. We're, gonna, we're just going to make everything look good. So I would say for this, like, I was originally going to put like white fence and then I was like, the white on white, maybe let's put some black, kind of contrast, make it look like the roof a little, if that's just me. But then add like a little window, didn't just make it you, do you. I don't know why I said that like that, but you could do whatever you want when you build these houses. So now time for the interior which I really like how it looks it just it has the whole thing come together so time for the interior I love how it, like when I do it it does like the little door thing so we're gonna do like the wood get it all together don't know why I said together like that but we're gonna make this house look really special so we're gonna have a walk-in room and then the living room Cause I was like, why not break it up? I like how that looks better. So we do everything and let's see. I was like, I think the yellow would pop in the room. Cause it's like the red, the red, yellow, they kind of complement each other even though they're not really complementary colors. But I don't know if they're complementary colors. Don't quote me on that. But I feel like they complement each other in a way. To me, it's just cute. So then we have the little study area where the, you can have some photos of like the fun times you have while you study. And it, I don't know, it just pulls in the piece together. Not the piece, like this is an art piece, but it pulls in the room. And the bookshelf, oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I really like making my bookshelf act like as they can. I don't know, I don't read books that much, but it, it just, bookshelves kind of bring the room together in a way. I don't know if it's me or anything. And then I added some shelves, so it's like, ooh, that would look really nice. So I put some book, boots on top and some books and then a hat. I was like, let me try to use some stuff I barely, I don't even use. So we have like a little coffee table under a rug that's from the Crayfish mod, the coffee table. Most of the stuff is from the Coca-Cola mod. 
and maybe even Biblio, but those are my top mods that I used in the house. So I was like, in this room, I was thinking how I can make this like a cute little kitchen that you walk through. Like the house is kind of cramped. I would say this house would not be that much on the market, but when you get it, it's like it's worth it's worth the while. Like yes, I would buy this house. So then you walk through the kitchen. I don't know. I feel like cramped is cute sometimes. It does. It's not cute all the time, but like in decor, I feel like the more cramped it is, the more cozy it feels. Like I know that's not how that works, but to me that's how it feels. So I love the little apple basket and then the plate and then the little stuff. Like, I don't know. I love the white kitchens. Like, it's cute to me. And then we have a little bag that can be flower and then we have bowls on top. I don't know. And then you can have like a photo of someone to be like, oh yeah, this is my son. Like, or your friend or a photo of you while you're cooking. It's like, I'm going to make their favorite meal or I'm going to make my favorite meal. Like, treat myself. Like, I haven't seen my friend in a while, I'm gonna make their favorite meal, makes me feel like we're together, like we're hanging out. So now for the bathroom. <laughs> Sorry I like explain the kitchen like that. But for the bathroom, I was thinking like, hmm, how, this is the only bathroom in the house, it's like, oh, we have to have a tub or anything. Like, we have to just make it fit in a way. So here, I am just adding some plants, because you know, one of the bathrooms is smelling nice with the plants and stuff and like, I don't know, maybe you'll have some more oxygen. So I was like, put a jar because you know in the bathroom you have like so many different utensils, not utensils, but like brushes, scrubs, um, soaps. And then I was like, let's add another thing. Let's make, like, let's add the roses to the wall. Cause I don't know, the roses kind of make the bathroom pop a little. Oh, we're going through another door. <laughs> so, walking through, you see the kitchen once more, and we're about to go to the loft. I don't know if you would call this a loft, but I would say it kind of qualifies as one. So, let's go up some stairs. So, for this area, I was thinking, let's make it a hangout and bedroom place at once. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what my brain was thinking, like, hang out, yeah, something like that, so I was like, let's kind of split it up, and I needed the roof to be flat, because I feel like that would have bothered me if it weren't flat, I don't know if that's just me, so I was like, make this area, like, where you can hang out, like, if you have any friends over, like, you don't have to be in the living room, you can be upstairs, I don't know, when I'm upstairs, it's like one of my favorite spots to go in the house, so that's where I would go, like hang out upstairs, so I put like a little ottoman, whatever you can call that, and then I added some rugs, I think the rugs kind of, they help like make the house unique, not unique, but it throws the house together, it puts the house together. So I was like trying to figure out what decorations I can add, like add a book. I put books everywhere even though I, personally I don't have that many books, but I think they have like cute in houses. And I add another bowl of yarn and stuff, and I add some photos because of course your bedroom, you're going to have photos of your friends, all the fun things you've done in it. I don't know. I feel like that's what a friend would have in their room. So then we get to the bed part. Oh my goodness, we're almost done. I like this house, like really. So in this part, we add like, I think I added a bench behind the bed. I don't know, I really like how the benches look behind the bed. But then I made that like their little nook, like when they're hanging out with their friends, they'll be like, hold on, I can take a nap. You can play on my computer or something. So then we have more shelves. I feel like shelves just give you that storage even it, though it's minecraft it just gives you the idea that someone lives here and they have all their different kinds of things their needs their wants what they like their interests all that yada yada blah blah they have their stuffed teddy bear from when they were young i hope you all enjoyed this house it was one of my favorites to make in a while 
See y'all later. Bye.